い皆さんこんにちはレナです今日は他の外国人と一緒にオムライスを食べに行きたいと思いますお店はこの後ろにあるお店ですまずは新しい友達を紹介してから食べに行きたいと思います So, this is Erica. Hi, Hi Erica. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs>、um, would you introduce yourself for a second? Sure.、Um, I'm Erica Hara.、Uh, okay. I live in the Nagoya area.、Cool. I've been in Japan for about six years. Okay.、Um, and I have recently become a housewife. So、oh. I'm enjoying <laughs> adjusting to my new lifestyle. Oh, nice. Very good. <laughs> Uh, so, today we're going to have o m r i c e because、oh. you said you've never had it before. <laughs> yeah, I feel it's kind of embarrassing. I've been here for six years, but I, I've not had o m r i c e I mean, there are so many delicious things、mm. here in Japan to try, so a couple of things usually、yeah. kind of fall through the cracks. Yeah. So, we're going to fill that、okay. crack for you today. We're going to fill the crack and my stomach. <laughs> yes, exactly. With o m r i c e Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. So,、uh, let's have a look at what's on the menu. All right. Uh, uh, okay, here, I found the lunch menu. Ooh, <gasps> Ooh can you croquet?、Uh, yeah. So, that's kind of the reason why you've never tried omelette、oh, before. Yeah, because right? literally other every, fancy stuff. everything else <laughs> on the menu, I'm like, oh, an omelette, it's an omelette. And then I'm like,、mm, oh, oh my gosh, wow. And this is our goal for today. Okay, demi glace. Looks good, does it? It does look good. What、okay. is inside of omelette? It depends on the shop, but、okay. this one says chicken rice. Chicken rice, okay. I'll get the ice matcha latte. Oh, that sounds nice. We'll go, we'll go Japanese all the way. <laughs> nice. So you read Japanese, no problem.、Um, I can't.、Um, I can read the kanji、uh, that most first and second graders can read. That's about as many as I can read. I can read all、okay. hiragana and katakana. What do you think? It, it's bigger than I was expecting. Yeah,、um, right? It's quite big. I, I mean, hand for scale. Yeah, like, exactly. It's a two hand omelet, not a one. I don't know. I guess I, in my mind, I was thinking it would be much smaller. But wow. And to it me, it、smells. seems kind of very plain, just with the yellow and the brown. Yeah, I feel like there needs some parsley.、Nice、there was some garden. A little or piece of broccoli on the side. Japan is usually like that, right? You have one、yeah. little tomato, yeah, right. one sprig of broccoli, but yeah, it, it's like sparse. <laughs> you don't need anything else. I, I don't know. It's strange to me. Like, this has a very strong meat smell, like the demi glace sauce, I guess. Yes, that's true. I, so I'm like, what is this going to taste like? <laughs> I'm trying to think because it's got chicken rice in it. Yes. Which is. Is it made with tomato sauce or ketchup? Or I wonder. Well, we'll see.、Uh, Just, you can dig in if you want to. All right, to. let's see. I think I'm going to go for the cross section first, right? Do okay. It, do okay. it like a YouTuber, right? Nice. <laughs> all right. Ja, 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 ja. Oh. oh. Wait, That definitely looks like ketchup rice. Oh.、Yeah. All right. But、there. look how thin it is. I, got, I don't know because, I mean, American, like, we eat omelets, right? Omelet is a thing we eat, but they're. 99% egg and 1% filling, whereas this is 99% filling and 1% egg. Let's see what we got here. Get some demi glace sauce. Oh no. Not that hot and salty. <laughs> wow, this is. That demi glace sauce、ah, okay. is very concentrated and it's not sweet at all. Okay. Sometimes demi glace sauce here is sweet. I've had it on like hamburgers before. Yeah, hamburger with demi glace.、Yeah. This is not. This is super savory, salty. Okay. And the inside is really sweet. That's the ketchup, probably、mm. the sweetness. Wow. Okay, I got a little piece. So there's little tiny pieces of chicken. There's no, no vegetable other than it looks like it's just onion. I like it better without the demi glace sauce. <laughs> the demi glace sauce is. Let's see what this is. I'm going to try with the egg first. It's very fluffy, right? Yeah, it's really fluffy.、Mm. And the demi glace sauce, like this. Oh, yeah. So salty, right? Yeah. <laughs> Now I know what you mean. It's very hearty. Like, this is gonna fill you up. Yeah. You got protein,、big. carbohydrate, and a little bit of chicken. It is big. It's really good, but, like, there's no greenery in it at all. I guess I was thinking, like, It, it says chicken rice on the menu, but I was thinking like fried rice. So I was like, my brain is like, Western fried rice. Oh, peas and carrots and little pieces of corn. But 
There's no veggie in it. I think that's what it is for me, is that there's like, I mean, there's onion, but. So, Erika, tell yes. me a little bit about why you came to Japan. Um, well, I will give you the short version because otherwise this will turn into a sad video. Um, but my last remaining parent passed away in 2016 and I was just done. I was like, I'm done with America. I'm done being here. I need to get out. I think the month after we buried my mom, I got on the internet and I applied to every job posting on gaijinpot.com, not sponsored. I got two or three job offers, but I picked the one that said that I could live in this area. This is where I wanted to live uh, for a number of reasons, but most of them being because it is the least disaster, like natural disaster prone part of Japan. Plus my best friend had moved to Japan about 10 years prior and she also lived in this area. So I was like, I want to live in the Nagoya area specifically this town if you can get me there and they said oh yeah no problem and they were like oh you can do all this stuff they we talked over the terms they didn't let me sign the contract until i got to japan which is and yeah. by the time i got here it was quite different than what had been promised to me no uh, first of all i wasn't going to be in the city i wanted to be in they were going to send me to like Tokaishi, Tokai City. Tokaishi is great. My husband yeah. is from Tokaishi. It's just so, but it's far. Like I already had an apartment here. Also, they didn't help me get an apartment, so I had already had a friend, my friend who lived here, get my apartment. But yeah, so that's how I ended up in this area. But needless was to say, was it English teaching? Of course it was. Of course. Did you enjoy the teaching? Absolutely not. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I I wanted to be a teacher when I was in the United States. I actually started um, early education training. But I just found that it wasn't really, the children that are there don't want to be there most of the time. The parents use it as sort of an after-school babysitting service. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that was how that went. <laughs> how did you meet your husband? Oh, so I met my husband at an omiyai party. It was um, a casual omiyai. Uh, <laughs> so I got there and it was, it was just not something I had ever experienced before I went in and they did my hair and my makeup and I was definitely the only foreign person there. So everything was in Japanese? Everything was in Japanese. Were comfortable doing that? I was most assuredly not comfortable but I tried my best um, because you had, once you got there they gave you this giant profile card that you had to fill all out. In that had like, all in Japanese. All in Japanese. But yeah so we, we, we talked in a big group and then uh, they split us up and we kind of speed dating round robin oh really yeah the okay. men got up and walked around and talked to everybody at the end of the day at the end of the event you had a card and you had to write your your first place your second place and your third place like and you gave them to the matchmaker at the end of the night and then she would go through and if two people put each other as their number one then she would contact you and let you know hey do you want this person chose you do you want to be put in touch uh but yeah that's how i met him it's uh it's different because he's a shrine priest and so he never has days off in a row. He never has regular days off. His days off are random throughout the month. Did you learn a lot about like Shinto and all those uh, kind of I things? I have learned, I don't, well it's not that I've learned like a lot of like the mysteries of it, but I've just learned a lot of what goes into it. Like for example, I can now look at a Shinto priest and I can tell you what his rank is by what his clothing is. Our dessert and drinks have this arrived. This amazing. It's I... kind of like old fashioned uh. pudding. But the I, I've presentation is I had never right? seen pudding like this until I came to Japan. Like I had seen it, I saw like the little pack puddings on a K-drama one time and I was mm -hmm. like, oh, that looks so good. Uh, but like I had never, this is not what pudding looks like where I'm from. Pudding is like jello pudding mix, right? Chocolate pudding, yeah. things yeah. like that. Same, so when I first tried it and it was like very eggy, mm -hmm. I didn't like it. And yeah. I think I didn't have a good it's one. It's definitely more of a custard than a pudding, I yeah, think. Yeah, right? But. Look at that. I mean, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, look at that caramel sauce on top. <laughs> and then I got the uh, the matcha latte. I am very picky about the flavor of matcha. Okay. Um, I really hate the taste of expensive matcha. No way! <laughs> Cheap matcha is pretty good for me. Um, I'm kind of that way with a lot of things. Oh. Oh, that is a really nice balance of milk and matcha. Is it very sweet? It's very sweet. Okay. <laughs> like, that is quite sweet. And it's very, I guess they froth the milk before they put it in. Uh-huh. The, the matcha is just like on the back end of the drink. Okay. It's uh, when you Not first taste it, the first, only thing I can taste is like sweet milk. All right, shall we move on to the piece de resistance? Yes. All right, this is the pudding. It looks so good. Looks very nice. All right. 
Let's go in. Oh, it's really firm. Oh my gosh. Oh, then it's old fashioned pudding. Yeah, it is really firm. Oh my, look at like that. The Japanese have the nameraka, which is so popular lately, uh, right? Which is kind of basically like. Oh, sauce. oh yeah, that is like. <laughs> that is, that is thick. Let's see. That caramel is very close to burnt. Very bitter, yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. So this is definitely like egg custardy. I'm, I, I can't get over how like, it's really firm. Bum, 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 bum. It's really firm. And the, the caramel sauce is very bitter. But it's not sweet. None of this is sweet. Okay. Oh yeah. That, wow. It's That's really old fashioned pudding. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you think about the sauce? It's really bitter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love bitter caramel sauce, but this this is really like the bitterest caramel sauce that I've had ever. Like I like the sweetness of the pudding, so mm. it's 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 not too sweet, but it has sweetness and with the bitterness of the caramel sauce it matches very well. Yeah, like I said, in Germany we don't have that kind of pudding. We have like very sweet chocolate pudding right. or very sweet vanilla pudding. And it's not it's not this consistency. It like no. American pudding couldn't hold a shape. Our in, pudding is in not. In Germany, yeah, we, we do there's this weird German recipe where we have like a bowl and then we put layers of chocolate and vanilla pudding so it looks like a zebra oh, kind of. <laughs> wow, that sounds good. So you have a YouTube channel. I do. It's a very, very small YouTube channel. I thought maybe some of the viewers want to practice their English. Maybe. Oh, okay. Uh, well, if, if you want to take a look, I do sort of kind of everyday life and travel here in Japan. I haven't uploaded in a while because I've been dealing with the wed my wedding and honeymoon and getting adjusted to married life, but um, I have a, a couple of good videos, I think. Um, and the name of the channel is Airy Mean Adventures. So, so Erika, thank you so much for coming well, along. Thank you for inviting me. I had a great time. <laughs> yeah, me too. I learned a lot about you and um, yeah, we had some good lunch. It was, it was so good. everyone. If you enjoyed this video, then I hope you will give us a like. Um, so we hope to see you. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.